Hi everybody. Good afternoon. It is 3.53 in the afternoon and I'm just hanging out here at home um, in my jammies. Um, the other day with my new boiler system, I've been in the midst of doing some things around the house like learning the new boiler, uh, learning the new um, thermostat. We had a new thermostat installed. I think I just knocked something off. I mean, it's like, oh, you know, I am very, I take direction well. I understand instructions. I comprehend. One of the things with me in school when I was a kid, always with reading, I love reading, and I always loved comprehension. I understood what I was reading, you know, so something like I understand the assignment. <laughs> this, however, is like so intricate. I think I knocked off the schedule. All I wanted to do is like maybe raise it up from 72 to 73. Now, it got pretty chilly in here during the, during the night, but what it is is that I kept it on 72 because for number one, I want my bill to be down because I have gas heat. And because uh, gas rises here, gas prices have risen. I mean, gas for a car is like, absolutely forget it. So you can imagine the utility bills as well. But anyway, um, I just want to just raise it just a little bit to 73. And I think I knocked off the scheduling thing. It's a very intricate, it's a, it's a very intricate um, piece, but hopefully I'll be able to understand. I've also, you know, I, I also turn to YouTube as well to look up the model number and I'm sure there's instruction videos for what I'm looking for. Now, to me, it's like my head is like, it gets all scrambled because I'm learning something new. Now, even though I like to learn new things, it kind of gets overwhelming when I'm not in the mood to learn new things. So that's right today, that's where I'm at. Um, I did some plastering today of my ceiling over here. My situation was with the dryer vent and the dryer hose popping off the back of the dryer. I think I told you guys that last week or a few weeks ago. So anyway, the people came and they put the hose back on the dryer for me, which was my um, boiler team that actually did that. Um, so we got that going. So then I was able to plaster my ceiling. And I don't think I did too bad. I could just show you just a little. Now, the color is a little bit off. My husband goes, you know, we have white ceilings and that's not white. I says, I can't help that. The main thing is, is to not have any plaster falling. So I think I did a pretty good job. Um, let me put the light on. I don't think I did bad at all. I really don't think so. So that's my plastering job right here. Okay, now this section here is gonna be a little bit, you know, sticking out, but that's from me not taking that one piece down. I didn't have to take it down because there was nothing wrong with that piece. But basically all these things here, I did remove some of the old plastering over here that I did to um, fix that, and I did. And you know what, it's up, it's up, it's cool, it's patched, it looks like a patch job, but you know what? I'm proud. I'm proud of it. So my husband says, no, he says, no, I'm not saying that. No, you did good. He says, no, definitely. Cause my husband's not, um, um, that kind of a handyman type. So I do that. Anyway, I do have a few more spots to do one over here and one over the sink. So I will do that on my time. I letting this dry. I'm proud. I'm proud that I've done it. <laughs> And this was my Sunday and happy Sunday, everybody. I meant to tell you that. Yesterday, I actually started on the, or should I say two days ago, I started on the Lego, the Lego Holiday Village, which is what my husband purchased, right? Did I say this to you guys already? I think I did. But anyway, the Lego Holiday Main Street Village. So I sat here yesterday, uh, two, two days ago, and I completed... I, I attached the people to it because I think it's so cute. And I completed this little scene right here. As you see, the man is mailing his letter and these shoppers here are just chit-chatting with each other. I love the Main Street sign. I love the clock. The clock is all around. I made sure that the clock's at the same time, obviously. So I just think that is wonderful. And the second accomplishment with that section was the tree. So I managed to do the tree. The tree is cute and has the stars and everything. I, you know what? 
I know it's a Lego tree, but some things with the Lego family and the Lego community, I like to look more realistic, like a real little tree, you know, like you get a little tree at the dollar store or something. But this is okay. This will match this set, so I'm going to be okay with that. Okay. And then yesterday, I decided to do another build, and I did the building, and my, my husband says, he says, oh, I'm don't do the other building. He says, because I think I want to do it. But you know what? I have no time to wait. I want to get these pieces up and I want to have them for the Christmas season. And I did one of the buildings yesterday. I managed to do the music store. And I knew he was going to say he wanted to do the music store because he's a guitar player. Oops, he's a guitar player. So I love the guitars in the front. I put the owner of the shop. I just attached them. And I have here... Come on in, guys. <laughs> I have the door. And upstairs is what, you know, in my mind, this is the shop owner of the shop, but he also owns the whole building. And what I mean by he owns the whole building is that he has the apartment that's upstairs. Good. Um, quite a few things I like about this um, Lego set is that it's really, like, realistic. I know people, you know, for us that live here in New York City, the old tenement housing the old buildings of the tenements have the pipes sometimes running on the outside of the building as well sometimes it looks like a, a, a steam pipe probably does I noticed that right away I says oh my god it reminds me of reminds me of the old tenement houses here in New York City so that's one of the things right there very beautiful very beautiful I will add that each pane of little glass here was very, very hard to put into the frame. I mean, just, it, just they just didn't snap in. I mean, I literally had to use all my might and all my muscle just to put, pop that glass into the frame. It was like really annoying. But anyway, I also like this part here because the um, roof opens. I don't know why the roof would open. I guess you could open it and look inside, I guess. But then you shouldn't have to do that because we can just turn it around. And this is on the inside. This is the music store, which I love the set of drums. Here it has the cash register opens. Here it has some, I want to say some drumsticks. And I was able to put those in. They're kind of snug when you do put them in. I love the saxophone, the pictures on the wall. All the stickers came, this set, so far, so good. All the parts are here, just wanted to tell you. And upstairs is the gentleman's apartment. He has a nice little uh, little uh, bachelor pad studio here happening. <laughs> and I love the chairs because the chairs actually move. I love those. The chairs actually move. Did this snap in place? There you go. The chairs actually move. I love that. And here he has his nice little table set up. And his um, he's got an oven and a little... I guess you'd say maybe like a little refrigerator type. I don't know what's underneath, but anyway. Okay, so that's really it for the music store. I think it was well. All the pieces, yes, yes. All the Lego pieces were there, Lego, yes. It only seems like it's a Disney thing when pieces miss. I don't know why. Okay, um, also I would like to add the Haunted Mansion. Um, there it is on back order. It says to be shipping in December for that. But remember, I went for the gift card situation. Lo and behold, I got a wonderful letter yesterday from Lego. With, in fact, getting my money back because I didn't want the Haunted Mansion. I didn't feel like waiting. And I did get a gift card with my $40 that I spent on it. So I did get this back. Saga over. Now I could probably just go to the store. If I see something else I want, I don't, my husband says, he says, do you really think you're going to go for the Haunted Mansion? I'd be honest with you. At this point, I'm basically over it. I am over it. So anyhow, this was the Lego music store. It, this is beautiful. It's, it really is. It put together. I sat here under an hour. I completed it and I'm fine along with the other two pieces. So with that, I don't know it today. I may start on, I may start on the other store. I may actually start on this one today. 
So I think we're going to leave. I mean, if, if worse comes to worse, my husband mentioned the trolley. I said, you know what? Maybe you could build the trolley. But you know, it's like to, guy, to get a guy to do something. It's, it's, you're taking too long. Why aren't you building the trolley? <laughs> I want the set now, not next Christmas. You know, so I may just do this this evening. I may just, you know, sit nice, hang out, put on some Christmas music. And that's what I did yesterday for the little music shop. And all the bags are here. I like how for each section, for each building, they have the booklet for each one. I will say that. They had the book for this. They had the book for the music studio. I think that's so. I think that's here somewhere. They have the book for the shop. They have each book separate which I kind of like, because it gets you to concentrate on one thing at a time, you know? I mean, not that you wouldn't do it anyway. And how I distribute my Legos is right now, I think they're getting, okay, I didn't do this in order. That's not bag number one and bag number two, by the way. I think the bag number one and the bag number two were the tree and the outside with the people with the lamp. That was bag number one, bag number two. The music store was big four and five so i'm gonna you know like to do the other store which is this one would be big two and three. Oh, bag six and seven wow okay see this this starts off at bag six and seven so i like the self-explanatory the explain explanation of things it's really not that bad in this book it's really not that complicated so what does the trolley start on the trolley starts, oh, the trolley starts on bag two and three. Ah, okay, see? Okay. Bag one, I think the bag one was the scene with the people. Okay, and bag four and five, which I already did, was the music shop. I'm not going in order, so. But I do like that each section comes with its own book, and it's explaining to you what bags that you really need for that section. So I will give that a thumbs up on that stickers stickers see i got my stickers see i got the stickers stickers are working working thank you thank you lego stickers are working wonderful everything so far is within the set i'm liking it so upon completion stay tuned because i'll let you know how everything goes but the music store seems to be my favorite and the people outside with the tree that seems to be my favorite so far so i do understand that the trolley which my husband had purchased the tracks for that I showed you a few weeks back that I showed you when we first bought the sets. Um, the trolley, there is a separate motor. It's sold separately that you can actually buy for the trolley. And the trolley would be movable, which my husband's already starting to know. Maybe we could get the, maybe we could get the motor for the, for the trolley. I said, you know what? I don't know. I think it just looks cute, stationary, parked. Um, looks like a little like shoppers are shopping. It's around the Christmas holiday. They're just looking at the train. Maybe they could go with the train, walk through it. Kind of like, um, um, the piece of architecture from the city or something like that. You know, like the train's not running anymore. Kind of like an antique looking. That's how my mind is going right now, folks. I don't know. But anyway, it's gonna, it's gonna be cute. I am enjoying putting it together so far. So good. Thank you for, for Lego and thank you for my gift card okay moving on from this lego i am also having my christmas joffrey's disney coffee thank you my mini merry mint yes mm. i cannot stop drinking it i i'm probably gonna knock off this whole bag i mean really i do want to mention a wonderful person and I wrote her to tell her that I had gotten it. Um, I had received an, uh, a little um, PM the other day, private message the other day, um, telling me that uh, this person would like to, uh, is sending me a gift. And I said, you, you know, that's very kind, but you know, you really don't have to. Um, but she sent it to me and yesterday I got it in the mail. I did open it. Now, usually I would open it on air, but I really didn't want to do that. I wanted to make it like a private thing because, first of all, it was a, it was a gift. I didn't know what the gift was, but I do now. 
and I absolutely love it. And upon that, she sent me a, a beautiful note thanking, th thanking, she's thanking me. I says, well, why are you thanking me? I'm not going to read um, the note out loud because it's out of respect for the person. And I'm going to call her Miss R. And I thank her so very much from the bottom of my heart. You know, you shouldn't have done that. And you really didn't have to. I enjoy doing what I'm doing. People are hanging out with me. It's like if you were to see me in person, like if I invite you into my home, you know, we just hang out. That's the way I treat my channel. Anything that's coming from me is, you know, just a, an open thing. It's I share things because I like to share them. And, I, and I'm grateful for people that are out there that like to enjoy what I'm sharing, you know, and you, you're hanging out with me. That's what I mean. You're hanging out with me. Um, she also has, I don't, okay, this is not the company. Uh, she has a little um, uh, Etsy page. She has an Etsy page. She hand makes her own jewelry. She hand makes everything. So she does have a lovely little business going. I hope it's going good and I hope it's going swimmingly. And I hope she, you know, takes on so many tasks for the holiday season. I, I, I hope she's just doing great. And anybody who has a small business, I mean, the times right now is like the biggest holiday, you know, biggest part of this, this season is the holiday season. So I wish everybody um, with small businesses grateful, you know, a lot of luck and, and selling things and, and making good money for it because everybody deserves that, you know. And what she said, she sent me the beautiful card, beautiful, beautiful uh, handwritten note. And it came in a beautiful box. So I had opened, I'm just, it's empty right now. So I had opened the box and the tissue paper says, enjoy this gift on purpose. I love her words when she says that. I love that. And I opened it up and it was this um, little bag, little organza bag. I love little organza bags. <laughs> I store, I store more, more jewelry in my organza bags. And this is the handmade piece right here. I'm going to show you this. It is a beautiful, whoops, upside down. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bracelet. I'm trying to get it right side up. And this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bracelet. Now I'm looking at the bracelet and I am going like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Do you notice anything with this bracelet? I'll give you a second. Da, 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 da. <laughs> um, I see Mickey and Minnie. So I went, oh my God, oh my God, it's Mickey and Minnie. Beautiful, beautiful handmade bracelet. Just the beads alone are wonderful. Let me pull this back just a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful handmade bracelet. So it will be worn definitely, absolutely. I have to turn this around like this, there you go. Beautiful, beautiful bracelet. So I am so touched and I, I, I greatly appreciate it. And I, I thank you from the bottom of my heart very much. And it gets, it gets overwhelming. It gets emotional. And I just enjoy doing what I'm doing, you know, just as long as people are hanging out, you know, it's wonderful. I don't know how to do a live. I was going to like sometimes maybe like to try a live I don't know if I'm gonna go that far I don't know I see other people doing it but I don't know if I'm gonna go that far with it I just enjoy speaking and doing what I'm doing so with all that being said nothing else much is happening I'm gonna see if possible that I can maybe do another building tonight maybe just get it up and going so I would only have one building on the trolley car. That would be it. But like I said, I would like to give the task to my husband of the trolley car. <laughs> we'll see. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. And thank you to Miss R. What I would like to do is in the description box, I would like to leave her Etsy shop info so that you can check out her jewelry. She makes awesome, awesome jewelry. I mean, really, really handcrafted. I mean, hand painted, hand shaped, everything. So you 
check that out, please. You know, show your love and support for small businesses, any small business, doesn't matter, any small business. All right, people. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Not, not even subscribing, just hanging out with me. God bless you all. Happy Sunday. Have a great start of the week. Tomorrow is Monday. I don't know if I'm going to go to... I would like to hit Primark maybe tomorrow. I would like to get out of here a little bit tomorrow. We will see. We will see. The weather hasn't been too good to me, but we will see. All right. Take care. Love to all, everybody. God bless. Bye-bye.